Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's Makeup Bag Monday, week number 59. Every week, I rotate my makeup and test it out for an entire week to let you guys know whether or not I enjoyed it in my lifestyle after using it for a week. And everything I'm talking about today, I actually ended up using for two weeks because I did take a week off. I had an injury and wasn't able to really sit and film. If you'd like to see what I thought of last week's makeup bag, then just keep on watching. But before we get started, I need to announce the giveaway winner from last Makeup Bag Monday. Here are the prizes from the last Makeup Bag Monday. I got an extra Back Talk palette, so I gave that away, or I'm giving that away, and then I'm also giving all three shades of the new The Balm fro uh, I'm saying that wrong again. You guys get it. <laughs> Dolly just snorted at me for not knowing how to pronounce things. Lucky winner is Angela Chan 0724 on Instagram. Congratulations. If you'd like to enter today's little bonus giveaway, then just stay till the end of the video. Okay, so last week I had a lot of new products to talk to you guys about. I was actually kind of happy that I got an extra week to test everything out because there were so many products. So the first product is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector Blurring Skin Tint. This does have an SPF, which is very, very rare for Makeup Forever. They typically do not include any SPFs in their face products. So this is an SPF of 25. It is a chemical SPF. So I personally don't think it's a high enough. I like a 30 and I like a physical and a chemical SPF for full protection. So what I would do is wear my moisturizer and SPF that is a physical and then I use this on top for a little bonus. I don't think it's enough protection for every single day, but it doesn't hurt either if you're not sensitive to chemical SPF. Now, I had pretty sensitive skin when I was testing this out and the chemical SPF did not seem to irritate me. I also did wear a moisturizer and some days I did wear a primer as well. If you're looking for something that's very lightweight and flawless and radiant, I think you'll really like this. It is very much a tint, so it's not going to give you major coverage. I actually like that because you can see some of my freckles, you can see a little bit of my skin's flaws, but it does even out any redness, any minor discoloration, and just give you this beautiful wash of color and radiance. So if you're looking for something like that, I think you will enjoy this. I think it's perfect for spring break. I think it's perfect for the hotter weather because as I get warmer, it's like 80 degrees today in LA, which is beautiful, but as the weather gets warmer, I don't like wearing a lot of heavy makeup and I don't like wearing full coverage. I don't really like wearing full coverage in general, but especially in hot weather because I feel like I sweat a lot and this just, this wears nicely with sweat, if that makes any sense. The eyeshadow palette I was testing out is from Laura Mercier. This is absolutely beautiful. This is the Boho Chic Eye Clay Palette, and I've loved it. I've been wearing it for two weeks now. It's, it's just so pretty. It's very, very neutral, but different at the same time, which I like, and it wears lovely. It doesn't take a lot of effort to blend, so in fact, so you want to like pick up the product and almost pat it on and then blend away anything you don't want. Um, it works beautifully for day and even into transitioning into night because of this beautiful sparkly black. So if you've been eyeing this palette, you like Laura Mercier, you like these shadows, I think this is a great springtime palette that will look really pretty in your makeup collection. I like the nice size mirror, I like the compact. Um, the only thing I didn't really get too much out of is this white. It is a very shimmery, translucent white, so you can either build it up or you can kind of use it to blend or use as a highlight shade, but I really just enjoyed this one a lot more. It's very much more pigmented, a little bit more oomph for your buck. I like the mix of satin and shimmer. It's a very refined shimmer though. It's not glittery or choppy. It's very much like an iridescent shimmer that is pigmented and um, very refined, like very, very classy. I don't know how to describe it other than that. The brow product I was testing out is new from The Balm. I'm in the shade Dark Brown. I really was pleasantly surprised with this brow pencil because not only was it great at creating dimension and deepening up my brows, 
it was very um, waxy but creamy at the same time. Sometimes I find that these brow pencils can be a little bit too waxy or a little bit too creamy, but for me, I found this was the perfect combination of waxy and creamy, so it was perfect at not only defining and filling in my brows, but it kind of controlled some of my brow hairs that can be a little bit wispy without being overly emollient, because sometimes when it's too emollient, I feel like my brows will just wipe away and this did not feel that way. So I actually really, really enjoyed this and I love how thin and precise this pencil is and I do appreciate a spoolie and not just that, but a covered spoolie and a covered tip because I can like keep it clean. And I like that it's different so that I'm not going to accidentally shove the wrong cap over the product part and break the pencil. I know you guys were really excited to hear about how the Essence the Cushion Eyeliner worked out for me and I have to be honest they were awful. I don't know if it's because my cushion eyeliner is dried out or if it just, I mean it's awful. I could not get product out of this thing and it just was like very splotchy. It, I mean, even when I just stuck my finger in there, it's, it's very splotchy. It's like a dried up rubber stamp pad. It's just bad, like look at that. I just dipped my finger and like went like that and that's the splotches. So unfortunately, I have to say this was a major fail. It could be just this one product, but I do not recommend it whatsoever. I couldn't even get it to work once and maybe I'm using it wrong. This wasn't working for me. I also tested out the Essence Instant Volume Boost Mascara and this I did enjoy. Essence makes some really great mascaras. This is a little bit drier in terms of mascaras, so if you want a wetter mascara, this isn't the one I would recommend. The Essence one that comes in the black and teal tube is really good. This one is more of just definitely creating those that volume and you can get a pretty thick lash with this and again it's really affordable so you really can't go wrong with it it does what it says it's gonna do it doesn't smudge it doesn't really flake on me but I don't typically have an issue with that when it comes to mascaras it's very rare that a mascara smudges on me in that sense if you are prone to smudging you'll probably have to test it out yourself but in terms of volume great volumizing mascara. I was testing out the Urban Decay new High Shine glosses. I do like these. They're really pretty. I was using the shade Back Talk and Fuel. Fuel is kind of like my go-to everyday shade and the Back Talk is a little bit more mauve -y. Now these glosses do have a minty tingle to it. So if you guys don't like mint flavored lip products or any of that tingly feeling, I would say stay away from these. I don't have an issue with it and sometimes I actually like that little minty tingle. I liked it and it does dissipate pretty quickly. I used to not like lip glosses because I felt like they were always very like goopy and sticky and they always left that weird line around my lips. But I think we've really made some great improvements to glosses lately and Urban Decay is one of them where I can get the benefit of having that plump glossy lip without the things I don't like about a gloss because these aren't sticky and they don't clump or do anything weird um, on my lip line. So I do like that. They're not super long lasting and they're not overly pigmented, which again, I don't expect from my glosses. I recommend getting Fuel if you wanted something for every day and Backtalk is a really good one. I was testing out these adorable Lancome Ombre Hypnos Mini. This is the Chubby 0304. 02 and 01. It's in a set for spring and I am actually wearing 04 which is crispy lavender on my lash line. These are really fun. They're very creamy, they're very pigmented, they're very much a look. So it's not something I would say if you never wear color to run out and get, but if you wanted to try out color, specifically pastels for spring, I think you'll enjoy having a set like this and using it kind of as almost like an accent color on your lash line. I am still wearing eyeliner, but I went in with the lavender and, and just created that like wash of lavender and then went in with a darker eyeliner to define my lashes or my lash line. So I would say I definitely wore the lavender more. The yellow was a little scary when I tried it, but then the green slash like teal shade is really wearable on your lower lash line. You can play with that. And then the pink I think would look really beautiful on someone a little bit more fair or very, very pale or who has cool undertones. They're fun. 
they're not something I'd say you have to have in your collection because again it's very much a look and a specific look but for spring it's a great way to update your makeup look if you have a very neutral palette and you wanted something to like freshen up your spring makeup this is something that you can easily pick up and then add to your core makeup collection to just make it a little more fun quality wise they're great wearability they're great they don't once they're on they're on they're not doing anything weird and they're fun and they actually make really good like um, I feel like bridal shower gifts and maybe um, spring birthday party gifts, like you can break these up. I just think they're fun to like break them up and do as favors too. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys wanted to hear my thoughts on the adorable Lancome Macaroon set. So it comes with two blushes and two blenders, and they're all shaped like little macaroon uh, cookies. So the blushes, I have to say, I love the blushes. They really are unique in terms of a texture. They're almost like a putty slash um, slash, I don't know how to, a whipped texture, a whipped putty, and they go on so beautifully and flawless, they're really, really pigmented, so a little goes a long way, and they just blend so beautifully, and they last a really long time, too, and the packaging is absolutely adorable, so I do recommend the blushes themselves. Now, while these sponges are really cute, they're not the best at blending. I felt like um, I liked my beauty blender better, and I liked my brushes better, so I still love these, though. I still think they're really, really cute. You can probably work with them by tapping and blending, but in terms of just like going in there and blending, makeup they're a little stiff for that so I still recommend the beauty blender I still recommend your stippling brush or your expert face brush from real techniques those still work a little bit better um, but these are so cute and I still did use it but the best way to use it would be to go into the blush like that and then to just gently pat it on like that but you could also use your fingers. So do I think that the sponges are necessary? No. But are they adorable? Yes. Do they go really cute with the macaroon blushes? Yes. And are they just the cutest thing I've seen in a long time? Yes. I do recommend the blushes because the quality, the formulation, and the wearability of these blushes are beautiful, and it really did give me a pop of spring on my face. Not normally shades I would pick for myself, but absolutely love them once I tried them. I love these. Definitely get your hands on that macaroon set from Lancome if you can. If you want it, get it before they're sold out, before they're gone, because it is a spring limited edition set. That is everything I tested out last week. Here's what I'll be testing out for the upcoming week. I got the new Pixie collabs with influencers or bloggers, and I thought I would try them out. So I have the Palette Colette Romantic Radiance. I also have the eyeshadow palette Let's Talk Eyes. I believe this is the one with Whaley, and it also came with this dual-ended eyeliner. So you've got six beautiful matte and shimmer eyeshadows, and then you've got a dual-ended felt tip, and this is a mechanical eyeliner. This is the Cafe Con Dolce Sweet Glow. These are multi products, so you can use them as eyeshadows, you can use them as highlights, you can use them as blush toppers. Supposedly, these are really pigmented and really, really beautiful. I was quite impressed when I swatched it and got it in the mail. Um, so can't wait to test these out and check back next week if you want to hear my thoughts on all of these Pixie products. And then, of course, I have been loving doing these little sneaky giveaways. I'm going to give away the PR package of the Aborian CC The Change. I thought this was really cute. So you're going to get this package. You'll It has a little uh, pop-up, I think is what you call Not pop-up, like a little slider situation. And then you'll open this up and you'll get both shades of CC The Change. So you'll get Claire, which is my shade, or Dore, which is a little bit darker. But it's very, very um, magical. It goes on clear, but then it blends beautifully to match your skin tone. And you guys know I've been loving this. I've talked about the CC cream from Aborian for a while. Um, I work with Aborian, and I had an extra set of this. They sent me this, 
and I was like, well, I already have two, so I might as well just give this away. I know you guys enjoy PR packages whenever I get a chance to share them with you. If you want to enter the giveaway for this, it's going to be over on my Instagram account, so make sure you check out my Instagram. Follow me at Serene Wu on Instagram, and then keep an eye out for that post. I will mention it on stories and I'll also have it in the description box on how to enter for this giveaway to win your own set of Eborian CC creams. And I've also been doing sneaky giveaways throughout my Instagram posts and Instagram stories. So make sure you read my captions on my main Instagram page. Every time I post a photo, um, read that caption because there might be a giveaway or check out my Insta stories daily because I'll let you guys know what giveaways are going on where on Instagram and maybe even Facebook. I have so much extra product that I definitely want to give back to you guys whenever I can and I feel I feel like Instagram is the quickest way for me to kind of do that with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays here on this channel. I am back, I am healthy, and I'm ready to roll. Thank you so much for all of your well wishes. It did help me feel better about just taking time to get better. And the other thing is, don't forget the new issue of By Serene is officially out. If you don't know what that is, it is my interactive digital magazine that comes out the first of every month. April's issue is all about spring cleaning and mainly just detoxing your makeup, your skincare, kind of going into SPFs and how to prep for spring. So the magazine is completely interactive. It's exclusive content. I create it specifically for the magazine and it's more of what I talk about here on my channel. So I talk a lot about clean beauty and kind of how to do it in a way that isn't overwhelming and it isn't going to hopefully break the bank either. And the magazine is really just about giving you inspiration and ideas and going more in depth about products and ingredients and what to look for and how to shop for things and more about inspiring. It's not just a typical like buy, buy, buy kind of magazine. And I've been loving creating it every month for you guys. It's got over 70 pages of exclusive interactive content. If you subscribe to the magazine, you also get to join the exclusive private Facebook group and it's a really great community where you guys get to know each other and just support each other. It's a really positive place. So I get to learn more about you guys through there as well. And we also do a Facebook Live every month. If you haven't checked out the magazine, the link to the website is in the description box. And if you have any questions about it, you can email us on the magazine email address, which is available on the website. And if you are a subscriber of the magazine, definitely let us know how we're doing and what you're enjoying, what you're not so much enjoying um, via the Facebook group. Um, I just hope my videos helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. That's why I watch YouTube, that's why I still watch YouTube, and that's what I hope my videos do for you at the end of the day. That's all that matters. Just take your mind off of stuff. So until Thursday, I'll see you guys right back here. Don't forget, I also have a blog. I also have a second channel with Chris, and we are a little bit behind because I did get injured, but we have lots of videos coming up on both channels, as well as lots of content on the blog. And don't forget, there's still time to enter the March giveaway for that giant bag of goodies. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out New and Beauty for March. There's still time to enter until New and Beauty April goes up. I will see you guys right back here on Thursday for a new video. Bye!